Okay, so there's some news of communication coming in for you. Uh, it looks like, um, you know, you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart chat with somebody right now. And there's a need for open honesty, you know, uh, for you to be completely honest with that person. So, in the past, you went through a lot of pain and suffering, but new beginnings have been coming in for you. And now, going into the future, you've got new love coming in as well. And it says your luck is changing. So altogether, a very, very good uh, uh, change in energies, a nice little shift in energy. So some communication coming in, some new beginnings with new love. Uh, you need to speak to this person and be very open and honest with them. And at the end, your luck is changing. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So this is the Romantic Tarot. I'm going to do the main read with it. Okay, so you've got uh, the um, Queen of Pentacles over here, and this is talking about being very financially independent, doing everything for yourself, uh, you know, looking after yourself, really, not relying on anybody else for anybody's help. Uh, you know, you're quite established in whatever job you're doing. You're very um, practical about it. Uh, you know, you're you're getting on with things, and you're going about things, and a lot of people admire you for it. You have uh, you probably have a, a management position or a position of authority, and you're earning pretty well over here. So you're pretty comfortable, and you're enjoying your comfort as well. You have that financial security, and, and you're quite uh, happy. It's not that you're unhappy, um, you know, in, uh, in your life or being single either. So it looks like there is some kind of offer coming in, though. So you've got the, the page of wands over here. So somebody are making an offer to you, a romantic gesture, uh, maybe, you know, flowers. Maybe they want to take you out for dinner. Somebody coming in uh, and, uh, you know, this person is going to be, you know, it, it may be somebody that you've already spoken to. Uh, maybe there's somebody that you've already asked for some advice. Uh, they've certainly got uh, a lot of spirituality uh, connected with them because you've got the Hierophant crossing this card over here. So, um, you know, this person could be a, a, a Taurus person because the Hierophant is associated with the sign of Taurus. Um, and this person is somebody that you may have taken some advice from um, acting as a mentor. This person might have a lot of spiritual ideals that, uh, you know, uh, have you questioning your own. So, you know, you might be readdressing your spiritual idealism uh, about it. Uh, you could have met this person over the Internet as well, because the Hierophant is about in information, and it's over the Internet, you know, big um, um, worldly information, really. So this could be somebody that you've even met over the Internet, and they want to ask you out. Um, but like I said, it could be somebody that has got you, uh, you know, asking about your traditions. This person might not be part of your traditional uh, background. It might be somebody foreign, somebody that you haven't met before, and somebody that causes you to see things in a very different light. So in the past, you have got the uh, Knight of uh, Cups over here. So this is it could have been somebody that you had dealt with in a previous relationship. Uh, you know, somebody who uh, was not, a, well, they were a bit of a dreamer. They weren't uh, somebody that, um, you know, really uh, delivered any of the promises that they made to you. Because you've got these big stone horses over here, you know, looking larger than life, appearing to be bi bigger than what they are. They may have made an offer. They may have had some kind of addiction problem as well, because the Knight of Cups is about addictions as well. And, you know, you've got the mask over here, so whatever they were saying may not have been the truth or the complete truth. Uh, it might have been a mask that they were wearing. Uh, and, you know, uh, they made these offers to you that, that seemed really... Uh, you know, bigger than life, larger than life, and we're not able to deliver on promises. Maybe the relationship that you had with this person was purely a physical relationship, and this is the reason why this did not really pan out too well. Now, what's in your mind? It seems like, you know, you've been, uh, you've got a lot of options available for you to you here with these three three of rods and you can see a lot this woman is very flattered by all these people paying a lot of attention to her so you might be uh you know in a situation where you're going out a lot and meeting a lot of people and you know maybe a lot of people making offers to you or maybe you want to be in that situation where you have a lot of options available to you uh where you can go out and you know um 
just have casually uh, a casual relationship with people, not letting it get too deep. So this could well be the case that you might have been, uh, you know, recently dating. Uh, maybe this person is a person that you've maybe met on the internet, and this could be, you know, a, a spot where you're doing some uh, of those speed dating or internet dating sites uh, where you visit, and you have many options available to you. So this is what's been on your mind that you do want to go out, you do want to have a relaxing time, um, but not, not something too serious. Uh, but meet a lot of people that are very, very exciting and very, very entertaining. So you've got the Four of Swords over here, and in this spread, it's about relaxing and going out and, you know, having a good time, really. Uh, you can see these people are dancing over here. So, you know, meeting people through socializing uh, and just getting, you know, letting your hair down and just having a good time. And that seems to be what is coming in as well. So taking it very casually, not being too uh, focused or obsessed about a single relationship. So what you want, you want to the beginning of a brand new relationship and you want that to come in. It must be financially stable. This is the two of pentacles over here, but you want something to start off where it grows. So you want the new relationship to come in, but you want it to be heading towards something that is more committed uh, and you want both of you to be on the same page. Maybe you were in a relationship that, you know, or you maybe you started, just started a relationship um, and you, you don't feel that you and the other person are on the same page. Maybe you still want control of that particular relationship and the other person wants something else you know they, they still want to uh, they want to try and get you to do things and you're still you know you're feeling a bit um, stubborn or you don't want to really go down that route because uh, you, you don't want to lose control of what is ever is going on and it looks like you know with these goats of here you're still very focused on your career so you haven't decided what you want to do yet you want to move forward in the relationship but you still want to keep that career focus now you've got this three um which is the empress card of here so people do see you as a very um you know attractive person very independent very regal so somebody who is who knows what they want and abundant is abundant you know abundance coming to them you know you might have somebody that's a very loyal friend uh, around you as well. So this could well be the case. So what you're worried about, you're worried about deception. You've got the moon card over here. You're worried about people, you know, if you get into a relationship, that person will do things behind your back or they cause confusion in your life or cause you to be depressed, uh, you not see things clearly. So you're worried that, you know, you will lose your focus if you get into a relationship. So going into the future, oops, you've got the three of cups over here, uh, the Queen of Swords over here and the Nine of Rods. So with this Queen of uh, Cup um, Rods over here, sorry, the Queen of Swords over here, uh, you know, this is a very determined woman. She is determined to get everything uh, done her way. And, you know, you this person could be, you could be, this could be you, this could be, you know, um, sometimes you could be a little bit sharp-tongued or to the point, maybe too brutally honest. Um, and, you know, you it's like this is a person who doesn't want any... Uh, nonsense uh, being spoken to her. She wants to say what she wants to say and she wants everything to be clear and everything to be truthful. And this is because of previous hurts or previous problems that you've been through. You do want open, uh, you know, the person to be completely honest with you and you've been through a lot and so you're not willing to put up with any untruths or any lies rather. So you've got this three of cups of you and I think this fell before this, um, this uh, queen of uh, swords. So the three of cups showing, you know, going out and meeting a lot of different people. You can see this man visiting these three women over here. So this is probably, um, you know, what you will be um, you doing. You'll be ma making a lot of friends, meeting a lot of people. The Three of Cups is about exchanging, you know, being very uh, emotionally attached or uh, emotionally connected, rather, with different people and friends uh, or, uh, you know, it could be even relationships. So it looks like, you know, this is not one committed relationship that you are um, getting attached to. You will have, uh, you know, um, other people, more than one pe person around that you have this emotional connection with. So it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, you know, a, a love situation. It could well just be a friendly situation, but you emotionally connect to that person. They understand where you're coming from, and that's um, you know, that's how you're playing it at this particular moment. It doesn't seem that you have focused uh, too, uh, like I said, to focus too obsessively over one, on one particular person. You're keeping your options open. But you're very determined, like I said, to get what you want. You haven't let anybody come 
too close to you emotionally. You are, uh, you know, holding them back. You are uh, a bit standoffish um, because you've been hurt in the past. You can see this woman's been uh, hurt. Maybe you've been divorced in the past because this is the card of the single woman or the woman who has been divorced or has had a, a serious relationship that came to an end. So maybe this is the reason why you're keeping your emotional options open and you're not allowing people to speak any kind of untruth. To you because she's got her sort of truth over there so you want the absolute truth but you are determined to get what you want now you do want a relationship that is going to be very loving and very caring uh, but you are holding back you can see there's the gate over here with all these um uh their spokes almost like spears are uh, in the gate itself that is preventing you from going forth so uh, you know going into this relationship completely so you do um want a relationship to come in but you're holding back at the moment uh because of previous hurts or maybe you're still thinking about the past and all the the nastiness that happened and you're not just ready to open that gate and come out or you're not ready to take that leap of faith within the relationship this card the nine of wands is a card of being very defensive so it's a card of being you know tired fed up it, it, the card itself, usually in the tarot, is called the Wounded Warrior. So that means that you've been through a lot of battles, have been very wounded, and now it's almost as though the next relationship is going to end up the same way, so you're not really happy to take that chance just yet. You, you are happy to stand back and watch and wait for that uh, perfect relationship to come, um, but you're not ready to jump into anything just right yet. And even with this Queen of Swords, it's like you're just holding back um, until you, you you get to a point where you're comfortable making that leap of faith. So, you know, you, you are keeping your emotional options open. You are going out and having a lot of fun. Um, you know, maybe you did, like I said, maybe that relationship, you did feel as though, um, you know, you wanted to be in control and you weren't given enough power in it. Um, because, you know, with the, ch the child card, it's almost as though um, you... Uh, you don't have enough personal power or enough confidence to actually get out there and, and be in charge in the relationship. So you want that to come into your life. You want to be able to be a person that takes control and be in charge of the reins, especially if it's a new relationship that comes in. But there looks like there is some kind of offer coming in and you are going to be meeting a lot of people, or maybe, like I said, maybe dating uh, or going out a lot and having a lot of emotional uh, ties to many people so you're not really focused right now on one particular person so you've got the guardian of emotion which says the situation requires emotional maturity total trust um, you are surrounded by those who only have your best interest in heart so you can rely on uh, the advice you're given challenges will be resolved and this uh, card indicates a generous humanitarian and refined person who uh, you can completely depend on. So this new person that comes in has got, uh, you know, very world uh, humanitarian views about things. And maybe they that's the kind of work that they do. So they're involved with a bigger picture rather than just in being involved in something local. And maybe they make the offer to you. This is a person who seems to be rather trustworthy according to these cards. And, um, you know, it's something, uh, whatever they're saying, you can rely on. Then you've got the help of thought who says your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that are um, seemed to be on hold uh, suddenly require all your attention. There is no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. So it says that, you know, things are going to start moving. Uh, um, there's going to be some action coming in for you with the help of thought. Um, and this could also be, you know, some news coming in for you. So something coming in for you that is going to make things move. Uh, if you've been having, uh, uh, you know, um, some kind of communication coming in as well. So if you've been have been stuck in a particular situation, uh, and you saw information coming in for you to help you move forward. And then the Six of Thought says, peaceful times on the horizon. The storms have passed and now you can see your destination is within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing happier times. It may be necessary to make a journey over water or to another country. So with the Six of Thoughts, it's like the Six of Wands. So you might be making a trip um, or you may be traveling uh, for rest, relaxation. It, you know, it could be work, but it mostly is just to, to relax, really, if you're traveling. Uh, so maybe taking a little bit of a holiday. But also it's a card of, of you know, moving um, away from a difficult situation or a difficult part in, in your life. So a difficult area in your life coming to a close and you will be moving forward. So it looks like whatever you have gone through, uh, somebody is coming in. This is um, a page of ones after all. And so this is news that is coming in. So this invitation is coming in, of, uh, you know, as a, maybe a written invitation or maybe a phone call, some kind of news where this person makes this offer. And, you know, with this card, it's about humanitarianism. So this person's got, you know, a very global view about what is going on. They look like they're well 
well traveled and well you know very learned as well very knowledgeable as well and you know it looks like you're entering a phase right now where you're going to be going out a lot and having a lot more fun and meeting a lot of people and this it seems to be what your desires are this is what you want to do so you look it looks like you've uh, you know you've um nicely um uh, enter that phase of uh, being financially independent and now it's time for you to relax and have some fun and meet some people so good luck uh, with all of that and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye